Hi Mortgage Heroes, Andy Cruz here in Business Development and this is Monday Mortgage Minute. Welcome back to a new week and welcome to my new temporary workspace, another temporary, temporary workspace. But this will be the newest temporary workspace until we go back to the office and we have our new furniture in. I'm really excited for that. In the meantime though, let's talk about the market and what's happening. Last week you saw rates take a dramatic rise at the beginning of the week, only to kind of taper off and come back down at the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. Uh, but it was met with a lot of uncertainty. There is clearly a lot of headline conversation going around the country right now regarding inflation, regarding interest rates going up, regarding the uh, home inventory being very low right now, especially starting out in the new year. And it's creating a lot of murmurings and conversations where this uncertainty is now turning into more certainty, which is, uh oh, things are not as good as we thought they would be. Now, this week, the Fed is going to make a determination and an announcement on whether they're increasing their Fed funds rate on Wednesday. It is believed that they're not going to begin doing this until March of this year, but Given the state of things, it would honestly not really surprise me if they just came right out on Wednesday and said, you know what, we already need to do a rate hike like right away. So them becoming more aggressive with their monetary policy is definitely in the cards and it could happen as soon as this week. What that means for mortgage rates is we're probably going to see them be very wild and erratic while traders in the bond market figure out what the heck does this mean and where are we going and how fast. So. Just a simple fact that they were going to back themselves out of the market by mid 2022, well that was one thing. And then they said, well actually we're going to do it by March of 2022. Well now that accelerates that process. So the markets had jitters and you've probably seen this. Even the stock index markets have just been a little bit wild and erratic over the last several trading days and that is spilling over into everything. The mortgage backed security market, the bond market in general, I mean even things like the, the dollar and uh, metals like gold and silver and even cryptocurrencies. They've just been erratic and just wild over the last several days. So uh, I really think the market is, as a whole, is trying to get its feet underneath itself and figure out what is going to happen in 2022. You know, there's a lot of predictive modeling that happens and there's a lot of forecasts on what people are thinking is going to happen with the, the cost of borrowing money. Uh, but right now, all signs kind of point to an impasse. On one hand, you can't make the argument that affordability is in the favor of borrowers because it's not. If it's getting more expensive to borrow money, that means affordability is under a lot of pressure. But at the same point, if we're having uh, inflation concerns and, and, rising, and rising prices and costs are, are, are high across the board, well, the only thing to tamp that down is increasing rates, but the market won't digest that, it doesn't seem. It seems like the market is only going to react positively to r r lowering rates, but there's really nowhere else to go. I mean, we already saw the lows in 2020 and 2021. So can we go back there? I, I don't know, because that only happened with the Fed's participation which they're telling us they're going to discontinue. So it, 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 is really, it, is, it is really going to be historically significant what happens over these next few weeks because when we get a year, two years, three years beyond this point, it will be this window of time, the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, where we saw dramatic decisions that changed the course of our country's financial future. So I know that's a lot. I didn't do a video last week because we were on a short week because MLK Day, uh, but there's there's a lot happening that is surrounding this conversation and this topic. So uh, without going into even any more like scrutinous detail, uh, that's kind of where things lie for this week. But I know that uh, those of you who are looking to buy in 22 are still going to have opportunities to do that. They may just be less opportunities than you're hoping for. We put out a blog last week that was imploring people to be prepared and get your ducks in a row. If your goal is to buy a house in 2022, get started right now. There's a lot of things that are going to be changing and you need to be swift and on your feet, but you need to be prepared. It is always better to be prepared because of a general rule of thumb, but specifically when things are like this in the market, being prepared is always gonna work into your advantage. Thank you so much for watching Monday Mortgage Minute. As always, please feel free to share this with a friend, family member, coworker, or someone you know who needs to be informed about what's going in the market and how to make the best possible of mortgage real estate in 2022. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.